Hey guys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to be recharging a Canine filter, Canine air filter. Now, it's a brand new kit. I haven't even opened the box, so I don't even know what's inside it yet. I've never recharged a Canine filter, so this should be an experience for you and for me. So what we'll do is we'll um, have a look at the grubby filter. It got pretty grubby on the trip, and we'll give it a charge up and give it a clean and see how we go. All right, let's get stuck in, eh? I've removed the filter from the car. I replaced it with my spare one I had, so we'll just see how bad she got. I know how bad it got. It was pretty grubby, the tracks. Just the dust and all the rest of it. So that's where the air comes in. As you can see, she's pretty grubby. There's a bit of mud. Oh, a bit of mud in there. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? That's that good outback dust. It's the dust that just keeps on giving. So that's the where the air came in from the air cleaner from the outside, and that's the other side, which looks that's pretty clean. So, um, yeah, we'll get this cleaned up, I suppose. We'll open that box up and see what's in that box, eh? So let's have a look. All right, let's see what's in this box. Um, ordered online from, oh, just an eBay shop. It didn't cost me a whole lot of dollars. So let's have a look and see what's inside the box. Nope. Oh. Air filter cleaner. That one. And air filter oil. Cool, so that's all right, that's what's in the box also. What else is in the box? Oh, a set of instructions. Let's have a look at those instructions, eh? Seems pretty simple. Oh, well, I'll have a quick read and we'll, uh, we'll come back. Quick read the instructions, they're pretty simple enough. It says basically use your cleaner to spray it on both sides of the filter and it says don't allow, just allow 10 minutes for it to soak in. So we'll give it a bit of a squirt and um, on both sides of the filter. So uh, let's give this a crack, eh? Look at that. Environmentally friendly, no aerosols there, so that's always a good start. Um, I've never done this before, so if I'm doing it wrong, let me know what I'm doing wrong. And it says to do both sides of the filter and allow it to soak for 10 minutes, so we'll do the other side. Now allow it to soak for 10 minutes. And then it says just to rinse off with water. I'd suggest you probably rinse it from the uh, this side, not this side. So it comes out that way. Give it a quick squirt, can't hurt. Give it 10 minutes and uh, we'll come back. All right, guys, it's been uh, soaking for a good 10 minutes now. And it says on the instructions to rinse it from the clean side, which I suggest would be this side here. And it just says under normal water pressure. So it just says rinse until it runs clean. So it um, doesn't say using any pressure or anything. It just says normal tap pressure. So we'll see how we go. Eh? We'll give it a, a rinse. Ew. We should get it clean. Three goes, but we got it done finally. It was like mud that dust on that oil so I haven't oiled it up yet so that's our next step we're going to oil it all oil it all up and get it ready to go for the next trip instructions about three inches I've got no clue what three inches is so I'm going to guess it's about I don't know that far it's just in the aerosol can just to spray it along the fins evenly so I don't know how you do it evenly but let's give it a shot and see what happens eh oh oh If I'm doing it wrong, let me know. Because I probably am, and I know there's lots of people that know more about this stuff than I do. It says spread evenly, so I think that's even. It's all red anyway, so it must be a good sign. Let's flip it over and do the other bit. The other side. Oh, let's come through the other side a bit. Oh, that's all right, so you know it's done being done. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks all right, I think. It says along the fins. I think if you've got the oil one, it's like in the, not in the aerosol like I got here. I think that's different. Excuse the dog, it's just being lab tested. Cool. I suppose just let it soak in a bit now. See what happens. All right, we'll just let it soak in. We're back. It's been 10 minutes, believe it or not. I know time flies when you're on the internet. Now, apparently you've got to wait 10 minutes for the wick through the filter. Um, it looks like it's done its wicking thing on this side anyway. We whip it over <laughs> and it's all red on that side. So it looks like it's been sort of spread on evenly. Um, I'm going to pop this back into the air box of the FJ. Now, remember how grubby it was? 
Now I used to use the paper filters and I just thought, a mate of mine said to me, give this a go Ed, it'll stop the, the dust getting into your intake of your ink. And we'll see how it ended up after the trip. Now it did about, say, I don't know, three and a half thousand kilometers on nothing else but dirt and dust. So you saw how dusty it was. We'll go have a look at that air inbox, air box. And it's the intake. I'm fairly impressed with that, how clean it is. And I'll show you the result of the bottom. Here we go. That is where the dust, the dust got drawn in from the snorkel. So I'm fairly impressed with that. I must say, um, I should have cleaned the cane and filter a lot sooner than I did rather than waiting for it to get home. Uh, next time I'll get an extra one to keep in the car. I did have a paper one, but I didn't think to change it over until I got home, to be quite honest. I got lazy, and it's my fault, but what do you do, you know? You get out there and you enjoy yourself. So I'll be getting another Canine filter. Um, my impressions of the Canine, I'm fairly impressed with it. A mate of mine put me onto them. Thanks once again. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you then. Bye for now.